from somewhere near here, they'll head somewhere out there. And this is the transport. The rocket that will carry satellites from Scotland into space. They call it Prime, and it's the latest example of Britain's orbital ambitions. This is the piece that actually goes into space. Below this is a much bigger stage that pushes this into space. Um, and this is the engine that will then propel it to the final altitude. It's a 3D printed engine, and it's controlled by this uh, computer here, which is like an engine management system on your standard car, but it's a special computer for space. And it burns the fuels that are contained with this lightweight carbon fiber tank. And one of them is propane, which people will know from their own barbecues. It's a LPG. And the ultimate goal is to deliver the things in the nose cone here, which ultimately open, opens up like a Moonraker rocket that people might have seen in James Bond movies. And inside there are the satellites, which can be as small as a Rubik cube or as big as a washing machine. Construction has taken place at a new purpose-built rocket factory on the Murray coast. The plan is to turn the company graphic into reality by 2021, launching from a planned spaceport up the road in Sutherland. UK satellites are already sent into space. It's big business. But they have to be launched from sites abroad in the likes of Kazakhstan and India, involving big waiting times and big costs. Catching a flight closer to home will be more quick, convenient and cost effective. Present to the rocket's PR launch for companies who've already made bookings. We obviously need a lot of uh, launching capabilities and, and, and flexible and regular launching capabilities. And Orbex is just a perfect, perfect fit for us. The plan is for six vertical launches a year from the north of Scotland, with the promise of multi-billion pound economic benefit in the long run. In the Highlands, the space age is ageing well. James Matthews, Sky News, in Forest.